Policing Command in Queensland. Thank you for coming this morning and welcome and wish you all a Merry Christmas. So, where do you want to go? Feedback there for you. <laughs> okay. Look, road safety is everybody's responsibility every day. Queensland Police Service asks all motorists, all people using the roads in any way over the next few days to be conscious of their own safety, to make wise decisions, and to enjoy the festive season by getting to where they want to go and enjoying the festive period with people they want to meet. So again, please use the road safely. It's your responsibility and we encourage you to make good decisions over the festive season. Tomorrow's pretty well known for people having Christmas lunch and having a few drinks. How will, will RBCs be enforced? Um, what can people expect to be less festive? I think you can expect to see the police uh, in a whole range of activities over the next few days and certainly in relation to random breath testing. I myself was uh, breath tested at 8 o'clock this morning as I moved around the city so far during the national campaign period, we've done over 5,000 random breath tests in Queensland. These figures will be updated every day. But random breath testing is important, but so too are other measures in terms of road safety. You need to wear your seatbelt. Don't be distracted whilst you're driving. If you're fatigued, definitely don't drive a car. And most importantly, drink driving and speeding are killers. So take care, be safe, and enjoy the holiday period. Traditionally, you guys normally see a bit of a pattern emerging as to mistakes the policy people are making that year. What what have you noticed around this time of year, this time? Is there any, one crime or one incident you're standing out? Look, there's been a very sad trend over the last few uh, weeks here in Brisbane in relation to pedestrian fatalities. Uh, they are, you know, totally avoidable. And uh, we would ask people, no matter what they're doing on the roads, whether they're driving, they're a pedestrian, they're a motorcyclist, they're a truck driver, whatever you're doing, road safety is your responsibility every day and we would ask you to bear that in mind. Do you think one of the reasons for that is uh, pedestrians are taking less and less notice, inattention maybe on their iPhones or on the iP uh, iPads or whatever they're listening to? Uh, the circumstances that we've seen in the last few weeks uh, are a bit different for each one but there is a trend in relation to people uh, not taking respect, enough respect for the vehicles that are on the road and assuming that they will be safe. So if you're a pedestrian and you're moving around on the roads, make sure you're aware of what's happening around you and that you're responsible for your own safety. How hard is it for you as a senior officer to make sense of seeing some of these fatalities? We saw a, a, in Toowoomba only a few days ago a bloke who was tested 0.26 or something on a motorbike. That's just out of control. Well look, uh, at this time of year unfortunately we need to highlight uh, random acts of stupidity basically. We get people who take unnecessary risks, who are reckless and who are dangerous. There was a gentleman only recently uh, detected at 174 kilometres an hour he had a blood alcohol reading of 0.074. That's just stupid. It's reckless and it's dangerous. How many years have you been running a campaign like this? Have you seen a change in attitude? Uh, the national campaigns have been running for many years. This year in Queensland is the first year that we've been able to apply the road policing command model to uh, our road safety campaigns. And that's the, the road policing command started on the 1st of July. Last week, on Friday of last week, we operated Operation Plough, which was an opportunity for us to task all motorcycles in Queensland and, and also some additional vehicles to the roads in a highly visible way. There are over almost 600 hours of traffic enforcement applied across the state and that's what we're about. It's about enforcement but it's also about visibility and our presence. And if our presence encourages people to be safe and be responsible, that's a great outcome. What is the Road Policing Command and how is it different? Road Policing Command has brought the former traffic branches across the state together under one centralised command and uh, it allows us to manage those resources in a strategic way uh, and to, uh, to get the best outcome out of our staff. So you will see uh, a repeat of that operation over the next few weeks as we go into the return home after New Year and also into the back to school program. On a related topic, uh, the people that were run over on the Gold Coast on the beach, uh, what is your message to drivers or beach goers there? Well, the roads uh, are the obvious places where people drive cars, but we also see people use motor vehicles in a range of different places, which are technically roads or authorised motorways. So no matter how you're using a vehicle, whether it be on a road, off road, whether it be a tractor, a car, a motorcycle, if you're using a vehicle, make sure you know what's happening around you and apply that standard measure of what's the safest thing to do.
What's a Queensland stance with body camera? Just hang on a second. Are you getting that? Is that coming through your microphones? Do you want to just stop? <laughs> well, I hope it's not the Easter Bunny, anyway. <laughs> <laughs>